Hey guys, so I thought I would continue on with my uh, collection and I don't know how far we'll get today because that first video took a lot longer than I thought, but um, I think we'll do the face palette drawer and we'll do like my large palette drawer, which has a bunch of stuff, you know, eyeshadows, blush palettes, bronzer palettes, things like that. And then I think we'll be able to do my bronzers. So let me just turn you around and show you quickly where we're gonna be in my whole drawer system that I showed you in part one. So here are the drawers that are right behind me while I'm filming. So last week we did those four drawers. Um, so we're gonna be doing these two drawers and then we're actually gonna be skipping over those Alex drawers. And then... <laughs> zoom in we're going to be talking about bronzers which are in these two drawers down there so that's what we're going to be doing today so let's hop into this drawer right now all right so let's start over here the back uh left area i've got all of my tom ford face palettes so these are like in no particular order but this is the violet argente and then next we have the number two, Warm. And this one is Solar Exposure, number three. And here is Soleil d'Ombre. This one is, what number was this? This was number five. I really like this one. This one is so different to me. It's very, very unique. And then this one is, oh, it's just Winter 2018. This was the first time they used the baked formula in these face palettes and I was so excited. And then we have the three newest and I just finished my dedicated videos to each of these. So this one is the Moonlit Violet Intensity 2. Here is Red Harness Intensity 1. And here is Intensity 0.5 Rose Cashmere. I think this one is my favorite. This isn't my favorite highlight, I think I like the highlight in the Moonlit Violet the most, but the shadows and this bronzer, I think are my favorite. Definitely the shadows. And then over here are all of my, what do they call these? Contouring compacts, that's right. So this one is Basque. That's this guy, when they ch kind of changed up the layout. This one is the Afternooner. This was the first one that came out and still my favorite. It just suits my skin tone the best. And then we have Nude Glow. I really like this one too, except this blush is really, really powdery. Like, extremely powdery. It just kind of gets everywhere every time I use it. But the shades in here are very pretty. And this one is Soleil Afterglow. This was number two, so it was like a deeper version of the Afternooner. And these two I can work with. This, for some reason, is very, very deep on me. So I don't use this shade very much. And then way back here, I actually have a little bit of a collector's item here. This, oh, it's dusty. Oh my. <laughs> this is Pink Glow Face Palette from Tom Ford. And this is when Charlotte Tilbury was actually the creative director behind this line. So I did not get this when it was actually live. I purchased this off of Poshmark. So this is Pink Aglow. And that is what Pink Aglow looks like. So this palette is it's really, really old. But I just had to have it. I wish they would kind of go back to this shape because it's so pretty. It's so much fun. And then starting up here, we have the Charlotte Tilbury Glowing Glowing Pretty Skin Palette. I got this during like a Nordstrom sale and it was supposed to be exclusive and limited edition to them, but then Charlotte Tilbury came out with this and I think it's, I think this is available on her site. Not sure. It's very pretty. It is very, very fair skin tone friendly. Here's the Laura Mercier Très Chic Palette. I really, really enjoy this palette. It has some nice blushes, highlights, bronzers. It's really pretty. It has the same formula um, blushes as her, what are those called? Color infusion blushes that I really enjoy. So I love this palette. And then I have two Smashbox face palettes. So I got this Kelly Contour first and really loved it. This came on a bunch of different trips with me, but really, really pretty blush, bronzer, you know the drill. 
highlighters. And then they came out with this Ablaze face palette. Same layout, but the colors were a little bit warmer and a teensy bit deeper. Both palettes work for my skin tone, but I really love these face palettes. And then, what do we have here? Okay, let's do these NARS ones. So I have this NARS Atomic Blonde. So all of these were limited edition, and I don't think NARS brings stuff back too often. But this was pretty. Some eyeshadows, a highlight, and bronzer. And then, oh, I loved these face palettes. So this was Summer Lights. This formula was so good. It was just really, really smooth and pigmented, blended really nicely. Really love those. So that is Summer Lights. And this one is Hot Nights. So this one had like the pinky and the purple in there. So pretty. And then we have back here. Okay. Oh, we have this Makeup Forever. This I got at the makeup show when it came to into Vegas in like 2000. 17 I think it was the one and only time it was here so I got these and they're okay they're a little bit hard pressed I actually don't mind this highlighter um, but they're a little bit hard pressed and since then I've come to really love uh, blushes with some shimmer and these are both like matte blushes so I don't use this very often but I do enjoy makeup forever products and then oh this suku palette I forgot about this this I ordered I think off of the Selfridges site and I just thought it was so pretty. And I did like a lunar new year look, maybe a couple years ago at this point. Um, but I did like a blush draping thing. Well, I, I should say I attempted a blush draping thing with this palette. It's really pretty. Can't believe I forgot about this. And then I have a bunch of these by Terry Sun Designer palettes. So we've got Savannah Love. Ooh, I really like this one. I like those punchy pinks. And then if you want to tone it down, bronzers these are all really lovely so that's savannah love and then we have tropical sunset this one is brighter yeah this one had that really bright fuchsia and that punchy color and then these were a little newer this one is hippie chic this is another bright one gorgeous so much fun i love these sun designer palettes from by terry this one happy sun is probably my favorite because it's super neutral <laughs> this highlight up here you can see I used it quite a bit is so beaming it's like really really gorgeous all the powders are really soft and then these bronzers are just gorgeous and then this addiction palette I purchased when I was in Japan I believe I purchased this in oh gosh was it in Hiroshima I think it was in Hiroshima but isn't that pretty? This is so dear to me. And then I have this um, Clay de Po palette. This is actually a customizable palette. So I booked out that quad and this blush duo. I don't use this that often, but isn't that pretty? I <laughs> love it. And then I've got this Viseart uh, face palette. This is the Highlight and Sculpt palette. I really enjoy this palette. The highlights are beautiful. The bronzers are great. You can mix these two if you have a similar skin tone to me to get like a nice kind of bronzer color. And yeah, I just really like their, their powder products. They're just really, really lovely. And then, what is this? I don't even remember. Oh, the Voyage. Yes, this is the one that looks like, oops, looks like a compass. This guy. And then we've got the Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm palettes. This one is Lovegasm, the deeper one. I love this one. This one is so pretty. And then this one is Lightgasm, which is lighter. I definitely use this a lot less, although this is definitely more appropriate for my skin tone. And then I have two Dior palettes. This one I love. This was when they first released this backstage collection. Oops, that's upside down. Collection. Um, I really, really love the contour um, powder. This one right here. Love that one. And then this was the second like highlight palette that they came out with. I just love this peach color here. It's so unique and it's so pretty on the cheeks. It's like gorgeous highlight, gorgeous blush topper. These are lovely too, but I just really like this peach color. It's very special. And then we have the Becca Chrissy Teigen palette. This is so, so old. I should just get rid of this, but I really love it. I love this highlight. I love the blush. That is, that's okay on me. That's not my favorite bronzer. It's like a little, I don't know if you guys can see, it's like a little yellow. Um, but I love all the other products, and this one I really, really enjoy. 
And then here's the Guerlain palette electric look. This was part of their holiday collection a couple years ago. Yeah, not this past holiday, but the holiday before. This highlight, both of these highlights are amazing. Like so, so super high shine. Probably some of the brightest highlights in, I have in my collection. And then over here, I've got the Natasha Denona Bloom palette, the Love Glow palette, the NARS Overlust Cheek palette. Love, love this. I mentioned this in my Sephora VIB sale recommendations. Gorgeous. And then I've got some Hourglass palettes. This is my favorite. This is the Unlocked palette. It's just beautiful. And all the shades in here are unique to this palette. And then this one is the Ambient Lighting Edit Ghost palette. This one's really pretty too. And this one is volume three, I think it says. Yeah, volume three. Whoops. And there, there's that one. I had all the other ones and I got rid of them because I never ever use them. Oh, here's the Natasha Denona tan palette. And then I have all these Charlotte Tilbury instant look in a palette palettes. This one is Stoned Rose. This one is Natural Beauty. I think this was number one. Then we have Seductive Beauty, which I believe was number two. Then we have Smoky Eye Beauty, which I believe was number three. Then we have Beauty Glow. I don't know where this falls in. I think this is number four. I love this blush color. Absolutely gorgeous. And then last but not least, the Gorgeous Glowing Palette. Really pretty. This is a good one too. And then all the way over here on the right, we have the Hourglass Ghost Blush Palette. I love this palette. It's so beautiful. And then I've got the By Terry Brightening CC Palette. Gorgeous. This just appeared in my favorites. I love it. I always get such a really pretty feminine, like springtime look with this. And then I have a bunch of these powders that I got while I was traveling to Japan. These were at the airport. So these are some like blush meteorites and it comes with like this little brush. You can unscrew it and swirl it in there. And this one too. This is just the regular meteorites in light. And then these are two like loose highlighters. They're really cool. They have like the sponge top in there. I have like a little plastic covering between the sponge and the powder so it doesn't get everywhere, but you can take that off and it'll come right out of the sponge. So aren't these so cute? And then we've got the Natasha Denona Diamond and Blush Palette. This one is Daria. So this is the pinker, cooler one. I love these palettes. And then this is the Citrus. And then I have this rhodial, like sculpting palette. Does this have a name? The Icons Collection. So I'd always heard really good things about their like contour colors because they were very, you know, cool toned and perfect for contour. Um, so I purchased this, I believe when it was on sale, I can't remember what site, maybe Space NK or something. Um, and I just, I don't know, I just haven't really reached for it, but I have it if I want it. And then, hi. And then we have the Natasha Denona Sculpt and Glow palette. I got this when she first released it. It's very, very old, but this was like the first kind of like contouring palette I ever got. So I was kind of playing around with it. I have a really old video up on my channel. If you're interested in me doing a very poor job contouring, but um, I like these tones. It's not super, super cool. So I think it looks just a little bit more natural, like in real life, but anyway, that is the Natasha Denona Sculpt and Glow. So that's it for, I think, hold on. Yeah, that's it for this drawer. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put everything back and then we'll move down to the next drawer. This drawer is just a hodgepodge because I just put larger palettes in here that don't fit anywhere else. Uh, so there's a little bit of everything in here, like eyeshadow palette. Uh, this is the Artist Couture Supreme Nudes palette, which I just got during the VIP sale. I love it. It's so, so pretty. I've got the Viseart Grand Pro Volume 2 here. I know 1 and 3 are down there somewhere. This is the one with all of the shimmery shades. 
I've got all my Scott Barnes palettes here. Here's the Snatural eyeshadow palette, the Color Bomb palette. Love this palette, it's so much fun. The Blush palette, which is absolutely gorgeous. The Sculpting palette, which is, I mean, if you want a snatched face, <laughs> you need this Sculpting palette. It's so good. Oh, here's the Busy Art Volume one. These are like all of your basic matte shadows. And then here is volume three, which are brighter mattes, kind of a continuation of volume one. And the glowy and showy palette from Scott Barnes. This is the highlighter palette, really stunning. And then I have the two Natasha Denona 28 palettes. Here is the green brown, which is one of my all time favorite eyeshadow palettes ever. And then here is the purple, oops, the purple blue palette. Another absolutely stunning palette, gorgeous. And I've got her Metropolis palette. And then I have a bunch of Private Society Glow Getter palettes. So Scott Barnes used this one on Tati in a video, I think before he came out with his glowy and showy palette, well, obviously. Um, and so I had to get it. Absolutely stunning. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And then here is volume two of it. So there's some different shades in there, a little brighter. A little more gold. This glow money is really, really gold. Private Society also has a blush palette, which is really quite pretty. <laughs> and then I have this ABH Norvina palette. I don't know why I got this. I think I wanted to use it for an out of my comfort zone video, but I've never touched it. I think I swatched this once, um, but I never actually used it. It's so gigantic. Yeah, I swatched it. I know I swatched that one <laughs> right there, but I've never actually used it, so I have to use this palette. It does look like it's a lot of fun, and I would like to find out for myself how I like the formula. And then I have some Il Maquillage shadow palettes here, these two large palettes, and they have this like weird kind of like iPad cover that rolls back. These shadows are fun too. They're very, very creamy. That one is Ready or Not, and these are the Color Boss Pro palettes. And then this one is Not Afraid. This one has like some greens in there that I really enjoy. Oh yeah, you can really see the hard pan in this one. You see that? I used this palette a little bit more than the other one. Let's see. Those are all single shadows. And then I have a couple of Jeffree Star palettes that I've never used, but Jen Gerard was actually kind enough in sending these to me. She's really big fans of these, and she wanted to share the love. So mini, what is this called? Mini Breaker palette. And then the Jawbreaker palette. I don't think I realized this actual palette was like a foiled pink. I thought it was just this white. Um, so here's the Jawbreaker palette. Wow. That's right. I forgot how bright this one was. And then the rest of these palettes just have some singles in there for me. These are all kind of like mixed around. I think this is like Anastasia Beverly Hills, um, ColourPop, some other ones that I can't even think of. I think this one is a MAC one. So that's in there. This one is all Makeup Forever shadows, um, except for this. This is an Inglot J Lo kind of like um, highlighter, blush, and bronzer all in one. But these are all old Makeup Forever shadows when they came in the round pans. And then this precious baby. This is my Adept Cosmetics palette. And this has all of my Surratt eyeshadows and blushes. This is like oh, my pride and joy, except I dug my fingernail into that. I'm so pissed. Um, but these Adept Cosmetics palettes are so good. They're like really, really sturdy. This is incredibly heavy, but these are all Surratt shadows, eyeshadows, and blushes. And then I got this Melt Cosmetics like Pro palette. It's like meant to house all of their stacks. So it has these cutouts in there. And then I wish, I don't know, I mean, it'd be kind of big if it hinged, but it's kind of weird that it just kind of splits apart. So that is the Rust stack. 
and then I have uh, a couple other stacks in here. I can't even remember the names. <laughs> can't remember the names of them. I suck. And then I have some Tarte uh, magnetic palettes. Oh, these are, this is actually a Tom Ford quad. Uh, oh my gosh, what's the name of it? I forget. I forget. And then this is a Tom Ford like shade and illuminate duo cream. They're basically like two cream blushes. So a friend of mine that works at Nordstrom, they had these extras. They're basically for the display there at the counter. So they come in these like plastic, um, like clamshell containers and so they were getting rid of them and he was like do you want them I was like sure because I didn't have I didn't have either of these products so I just threw them in here and then this other Tarte palette I think just has yeah some other like again like Anastasia Beverly Hills Colourpop these are Viseart uh, shadows and then this these four down here are Feather River Body which was uh, Sydney Grace. So I have those four shadows there. Those are really nice shadows. I should use these more often. <laughs> so that is it for this bottom drawer. I am going to put everything back. I'm not going to film it because my camera is actually in a very precarious position and I have to move it. So I'll be right. All right, here's everything back in the drawer, nice and neat. Um, it feels nice to kind of like just reorganize them a little bit. I feel like they fit a lot better. Um, which is kind of a surprise to me. So that is the last drawer in my six drawer Alex cabinet, all of my large palettes. All right, next we're coming over to these uh, organizers. And yeah, we're gonna be talking about these two drawers here. I have to pull them out and like sit the drawer someplace. I can't just pull them out there and talk about them because they're too heavy and they'll just fall right out. They'll like tip over. So yeah, I'm gonna pull out this first one. Is that one bronzer? Yeah, that one's bronzers, but I see a little blush in there. All right, we'll figure out what's going on. All right, so here is the bronzer drawer and I'm also noticing how dirty <laughs> the drawer is. So we'll be cleaning that up once we get all the bronzers out of here. Uh, but let's go ahead and start with what is in the back. This is the front of the drawer. So I'll talk about what's in the back first. This is one of the Terracotta um, Guerlain limited edition bronzers. This I believe came out last year. So there's usually some sort of bronze uh, blush combo. There's like an overspray usually. They're very, very pretty. Um, they have a very strong terracotta scent um, and they have this uh, wood packaging which I think is really pretty and they use a different type of wood every year and whenever I go in store and purchase it the salesperson always tells me all about the wood and I've completely forgotten. So anyway this is the I think this is the Rue de Indie uh, version and then here's the Rue de Zille version. This was the one that came out the summer before and this is the one that looked like a compass. And then we have some more of the Guerlain Terracotta Limited Edition bronzers. These are the ones that come in, I don't know what like line this is part of per se, but I call these the shoe polish <laughs> bronzers because that's what these look like to me. So this is one, and I've completely lost track of like which one is which, but I think maybe this came out last year. And this one, or maybe this one was last year, I don't remember. <laughs> but Similar to the ones in the wooden packaging, there's always some sort of bronze blush situation. There's usually an overspray. Very pretty. Again, very strong terracotta scent. And oh, here's a Laura Mercier uh, Matte Radiance Powder in number two bronze or bronzer, bronze, number two. Then we've got the Guerlain Terracotta Face Palette that came out last year. So we have a deeper bronze, a light bronze, and then a blush and highlight in here. And we'll just talk about all of the Guerlain while we're at it. This is the Sunkissed Healthy Glow Powder Light and Long Lasting in Light. This is a great, like, natural looking bronzer for my skin tone. Really pretty. And then this is the newest one that I've purchased. This is the Sculpting Powder Matte, and I have it in the shade Claire Light. And I purchased this while I was in New York at the end of February. Lovely. Um, I think that's all the Guerlain ones I have. Okay, so here are some Givenchy ones. So this is the Healthy Glow Powder. This is actually a highlighting powder. It's 2.5 Natural Rosé, but I find this to be very bronzy, so I stuck it in my bronzer drawer. And then this is the deeper one, the Natural Doré 4.5. 
and it's just a deeper version of it. They're both marbled. Very, very pretty. And then I have the La Mer Limited Edition bronzing powders. This is the one from last year. I think this is my favorite one out of all the ones that I have so far. This one, um, this is from the year before that. So this is, I think, 2018. And then this is this year's from 2020. Here is the Kevin Aquan Neo Bronzer in Sunrise Light. This is such an interesting bronzer shade because it's very, very pink, very pink, very cool toned. Um, it's got this ombre like gradient effect. This side is shimmery, this side is matte. This is very pretty, but it's like, it. it's kind of a weird blush and then it's kind of a weird bronzer. So it's just, it's a very interesting product. I feel like I need to use it more to figure out how best to use it, <laughs> but it is a very pretty color. And then of course the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. One of my favorites. And then I have the three um, new Kosas Sun Show bronzers. So this is deep, this is medium, and this is light. And then over here at the front of the drawer, let me move this. It looks like um, I put a lot of my duos in here. So here's some Tom Ford ones. This is 06 Flicker. I purchased this just to kind of play around with, but it is much too deep for me. Great eyeshadows though. Biggest eyeshadow pans you'll ever see. <laughs> but yeah, very pretty. These are like baked powders. Really, really beautiful formula. Here is the original Shade and Illuminate. And I think it's Mood Light. Yeah, Mood Light. And then here is Incandescent, which is stunning. I love this blush color. So, so pretty. Here is a By Terry uh, Compact Expert Dual Powder in 4 Beige Nude. This is such a beautiful powder. It's hard just to get the bronzer without the highlight in there, but I usually don't care because it's just, everything is so beautiful. <laughs> uh, here is the Chanel uh, Bronzer Highlighter Duo in Medium. Ooh, I love this one. This is gorgeous. These are like baked powders. They're just stunning. I love the tone of both of these. And then, why is this here? I have a mini Diamond and Glow compact from Natasha Denona. I don't know why this is here. I probably stuck it in here because I had a bunch of duos, or maybe I wanted to stick it in with the other Natasha Denona products I had. Um, here is the Chantecaille La Serena Bronzer Highlighter Duo. Oh God, I loved this collection so much, so, so much. And this product is just stunning. This is the Serena Bronzer. Uh, which has come out in the red compact. And then this is the highlighter that came with it. This highlighter, oh, it's just like, it's like a French vanilla, just smooth gorgeousness. I love, love this, love this. And here is the Kevin O'Quan uh, Duo, the contour duo. So we have a sculpting powder in medium and then celestial powder candlelight. And I love this product. You can see I used it quite a bit. I brought this on many, many, many trips because it is just the perfect little size. It's got a little mirror and these powders are just great. And then we have the Natasha Denona Bronze and Glow Duo. This is very pretty, but it's just a little bit off for, for my taste, uh, but it is very, very pretty. And then I have this um, Contrast Powder Glow from Kogendo. This is actually really lovely two and i love how they have <laughs> more highlight and less bronzer usually it's the other way around but this is a really beautiful it's very like subtle uh but effective it's just it's a beautiful little compact so when i travel it's usually between these two if i'm like hurting for space i have to usually go with something this small so love these and that is it for this drawer so i'm just gonna go ahead and like wipe this down and i just wanted to show you i have this novice plastic clean and shine. I got this off of Amazon. I'll link it down below in my description box because I've talked about my my troubles in keeping like my acrylic drawers clean because for a long while I had a lot of construction around here and it was beyond dusty. Like really really awful. I have air filters everywhere. It did not help. So anyway, the construction has pretty much subsided, thank goodness. So anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe this down uh, with this Novus. It is amazing. I wiped down a couple drawers when I had time. I wiped down a couple drawers with this and they are still like shiny clean. So this stuff is magic. I absolutely love it.
Okay, so I just kind of like dusted uh, this drawer off and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shake this Novus well and then I'm going to kind of spritz it all over. And then I'm gonna take a clean towel and just wipe it all down. I'm just gonna keep these two together. So I actually have some room in here. All right, so this drawer down, we're gonna go ahead and pull out the drawer that was underneath this one. All right, here's the next drawer. I'm gonna start from the back again. I have an Amore Pacific uh, Color Illuminating Compact. And this for me is definitely like a bronzer situation. It's light and it's like kind of shimmery, but it's very, very pretty. The powder is like really soft, so it blends nicely. So that's a really beautiful one. And then here is a Jennifer Lopez Inglot collab with this bronzer. This one is a little bit deep for me. Uh, it works in the summertime pretty nicely. I just have to be kind of careful with it. Inglot products are really pigmented. So yeah, that's a nice one. The Westman Atelier uh, Butter Bronzer. Beauty Butter Powder Bronzer, and this is in Coup de Soleil. And this bronzer is very nice. It's like very, very creamy, but it's developed this weird uh, kind of uh, coating. It's, I guess you could call it hard pan, but it's, I don't know, it's almost, it's different, but you can still p pick up plenty of product. I just feel like, I don't know, like this top coating has just kind of changed a little bit. There is the product. And it's still, it's still really beautiful. It still works really nicely. It just, it just is like, I don't know, it's just a little different on top now. And here is the Lila B B Sunkissed Bronzer. This is a gorgeous bronzer. It's so, so pretty. I love the sheen of it. It's very, very subtle. And this duo, I just put my brush in both and it works beautifully. Here is the RMS Beauty Luminizing Powder in Madeira Bronzer. This bronzer, oh, it's hard to open, is very deep. Definitely a little bit too deep for my skin tone. But it's, it's just such a really pretty powder, and um, I used it as eyeshadow a couple times, and it worked really beautifully. So anyway, that's why I've held on to it. But it is uh, definitely deep for me in terms of just like kind of bronzing all over my face. Here is the Ofra um, Samantha March collab in River, and this is so gorgeous. Half of it is matte, half of it is shimmer, and it's just this beautiful, like, warm, kind of, like, peachy tone. It works really beautifully as a blush, too. I just, I love it. I love this entire collab. It's really amazing. And then here is a Becca Sunrise Waves. This is the Gradient Sunlit Bronzer. They're really beautiful, and they have, like, their highlighter on the sides. I think this one is opal, I think, and then there's this Gradient, so it's very pretty. And then here is the Dior uh, Rouge Blush in 823. And this is like a contour. This color is like almost like a gray. It's such a good contour color. I really enjoy this. Then we have the Clay de Peau Bronzer. This is a beautiful, subtle bronzer, really pretty peachy tone. But I haven't seen this like online in a while, but this is really beautiful. Then we have my two uh, real bronzers from Chantecaille, which you guys know I'm obsessed with. This one is Goa, which had become my favorite out of the two because it's a little bit more neutral. This one is Serena, the same one that was in that Positano collection duo. This is a little bit warmer. Uh, they're both beautiful, absolutely beautiful, but I was just reaching for Goa a little bit more than Serena. And then here is the Chantecaille HD Perfecting Bronze. This is a very, very subtle subtle bronze but really great for like every day just a light dusting everywhere just to add a little bit of color it's really pretty for that and then i have two of the chantecaille uh, compact soleil bronzers these are so gorgeous so i have capri which is like a peach again doubles as a lovely blush and then here is saint bart's which is a little bit deeper a little bit more neutral this is just gorgeous these powders are so fine and so silky. It's really beautiful. And then oh, we have one of my all-time favorites. This is the Sicily Sun Glow Bronzing Gel Powder. This formula is unreal. 
unreal. I mean, it gives the term baked gelée just a whole different meaning. It's so, so gorgeous. Definitely on the warmer side, but it is really, really stunning. And it just, it has this beautiful sheen. Oh, it just looks gorgeous on the skin. Here is a Giorgio Armani Sun Fabric in shade 100. This has been discontinued. And yeah, this is one of the very first bronzers I ever got. And I used to just lay this on <laughs> really, really thick. Um, I had 200 in a previous version of this Sun Fabric and I love it. It's just a great like all around, just warm up your skin kind of bronzer. And then I have, ooh, and then I have the two from the Victoria Beckham Estee Lauder collab. So this one is Saffron Sun, which is a little bit lighter than Java Sun, which is the other one. Here is Java Sun. And I missed something over here. Oh, this is the Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder in Light. So in that little duo, I had Medium. So this one is light. This one actually works a little bit better for my skin tone than the Medium. And we have the Bobbi Brown Stone Street bronzer. This is one of my favorite, favorite all-time bronzers. It's a matte bronzer. It just does such a good job doing everything. <laughs> doing everything. Brontouring, contouring, bronzing, like the whole thing. It's matte, but it doesn't look dry on the skin. It's just, it's really gorgeous. The tone is just absolutely perfect. And then I have um, Elvis Duran from Bobbi Brown. This one's a little bit, a little bit deep for me, but I loved Stone Street so much that I was like, Oh, what other one can I get? And this is the closest one. And then here is um, the Gucci bronzer. Th these have been like long discontinued with the old Gucci line, um, but this is an Indian sand. This is a fairly deep, warm bronzer for me too, but I just, I loved it. <laughs> I just really loved it. Um, so that is the Gucci one. And then up here, I have the new Givenchy bronzer. Which one is this called? Healthy Glow Powder, and this is in shade 01. I think there's maybe three shades. I've only used this one once, but I have to use it a little bit more or just use it in a trying new makeup video with you guys. But this is, it's quite lovely. It's a nice baked powder. And then we have the Clinique Flower Pop, uh, Solar Pop? Solar Pop Bronzer. This is like one of my new favorites. I just love this. Love it. I love the formula. I love the shade. It's a little bit peachy. It's gorgeous. It just brightens up your face, but gives you that warmth that you need. It's just stunning. And then here's the Edward Bess Ultra Luminous Bronzer in Daydream. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous bronzer too. I feel like if I'm looking for a matte type of bronzer, I'll reach for the Bobbi Brown or this Edward Bess one. And then I have uh, four Chanel bronzers. This is the latest. This is the uh, Le Beige Healthy Glow Illuminating Powder in Sunset. Really love it. It's got that gorgeous gold tone to it. And then this is the Le Beige Healthy Glow Luminous Multicolor Powder in Medium. I believe this is limited edition, but it's still available some places, maybe on the Chanel site actually. This is a really soft powder, and this actually reminds me of that Guerlain light powder, the one that has the spokes. It also has like a peach in there. They're kind of similar. This one's a little bit deeper, but they kind of have the same effect on the skin. Oh, and then the, these, oh wow, this one is old. This is the Le Beige Healthy Glow Multicolor Duo number one. These are long, long gone. Yeah, this is probably like four or five years old. And then this is, oh, this is actually a powder in a deeper color. So this is a number 40 um, that I can use as a bronzer. And then we have my Tom Ford bronzers up here, my beloved Glow Bronzer in Terra, the Glow Bronzer in Gold Dust, and then we have the Ultimate Bronzer in Terra. This is the worst formula out of the three different formulas that Tom Ford has come out with for bronzers. And then this is the original bronzer in Gold Dust, regular just kind of pressed powder. So that is it for uh, my bronzers. I'm just going to clean up this drawer, put everything back, and then we will be done.
right, so that is it for today's collection video. I will continue on uh, next week. I guess I'll talk about my blushes and highlights, and I think that will probably take up one entire video. So I don't know how many parts this is going to end up being, but I just, I don't want the videos to be like too long. So anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying this. Please give it a thumbs up if you are enjoying this video and subscribe down below if you haven't already. I will see you in my next video.